Hi, I'm Dina Four with Vestavia Hill City Schools, and I am the data administrator for our district, and I'm here today to talk about online registration and get you familiar a little bit with how the online registration process goes. We will send out a registration notification to our parents, and when we do, you will receive an email that looks like this. Uh, the title will read Vestavia Hill City School District Registration 4, and your student's name will actually be in the title of the email. When you get that email, you'll want to click on either the SNAP code link, or you can also click on this link right here that'll take you to our website, and you'll be able to actually enter the SNAP code in. Uh, those are two ways that you can get to the registration. When you click on the link, it will take you to the online registration form. There may be some authentication prior to getting to this form, like your student's birth date, uh, but uh, eventually it will take you right here to the online registration form. The first page is always gonna be the introduction, and what you'll want to do is go through the form one by one. There's some information at the bottom of this introduction page for additional students. We'll go through that at the time of submission. You'll click on the student page. This student page happens to be set already for our new students that will be entering next year. But for returning students, um, you will not see this new student button. This will be only for new students. This home language survey is for new students. New students will enter the information in here. And this employment survey is for new students. Everybody will have a guardian contact page. One thing I wanna make mention of is we are starting in a new system. That'll be PowerSchool. And in that new system, uh, a lot of things are defaulted. So we'd like to start over again by making sure that we get good information, good data in. So go through all of these areas, even if you've entered them before, and choose a yes or a no. That way we can be sure we've got the correct and accurate information in our system currently. To scroll through these pages, you can either click on the next button, or you can also go right through to the next page by clicking on it. When you finally get to the agreements page and you complete that page, you'll go to the signature page. And at that time, you will be able to see whether or not you have any uh, mistakes with your uh, registration. If you do have mistakes, they will be mentioned here. And you can just click on any of those links and it'll take you back to the previous pages to correct it. Once all of those red errors are fixed, then you should be able to uh, click on the next page and submit your uh, online registration. The summary page is a page where you'll be able to see uh, the status of each page. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your individual schools and talk to your registrars. Uh, there is a help page on our website that you can go to. In addition to calling the school or speaking to your registrar, you can also call this 1-866 number. You can click on the info, info snap email request, or you can also visit the Power School Community Forum for frequently asked questions. Thank you for your time today. Looking forward to a new year.